Batman's a fascist! Hey everyone, I'm Spoonie Bard, and I wanted to give my thoughts on the recently released trailer for DC's Blue Beetle. So right off the bat, we see that Jaime is living in a fictional city called Palmera City, rather than El Paso, Texas, like in the comics. I read that the filmmakers wanted to create a city that both reflects and influences who the Blue Beetle is, much like how Superman has Metropolis and Batman has Gotham. So it looks like Jaime is a kid from a middle-class family who's applying for an internship at Cord Industries. If you're familiar with the comics, you'll recognize this name as the business belonging to Ted Cord, the second Blue Beetle. While I didn't see any signs of Ted in this trailer, his signature Blue Beetle ship does make an appearance. I'm wondering if they're going to make any reference to Dan Garrett, the original Blue Beetle. He was a Golden Age character that was just a policeman who was a masked crime fighter, um, but he was later rebooted in the Silver Age as an archaeologist who found the mystical scarab that gave him powers. So while waiting for his interview at Cord, a woman approaches Jaime and gives him a box. As a little Easter egg, this box is from Big Belly Burger, a famous burger chain in Metropolis. The scenes with Jaime transforming into Blue Beetle for the first time looked awesome. It looks like they were trying to make this part a little bit scary, which I think is a cool idea. I mean, think about how you'd react if some alien thing latched itself onto you, formed a shell around you, and then flew you into space. The movie does seem to have lighter moments as well, though, such as scenes of Jaime learning to use his powers for the first time. The bus scenes look entertaining, but they also show us that the scarab will automatically protect Jaime. Not only does it make a shell to protect him from the impact of the bus, but it also turns it into a weapon that saws right through the bus. We get to see the villain, or at least one of the villains of the movie, Carapax, the Indestructible Man. It does look like they're going to be putting him in some kind of robot suit for this movie. Susan Sarandon is in this movie, and she's playing a character called Victoria Cord. I don't know if there is a Victoria in the comics. Um, the trailer here kind of gives me the impression that she will be the film's main antagonist. I'm hoping the family is going to be a big part of this movie. One of the things that made Shazam so fun for me was not only that the kids felt like kids, but that the family felt more realistic. Now, in the case of Blue Beetle, his family knows from the jump that he is the Blue Beetle. Casting George Lopez as the uncle gives me hope that this movie will be entertaining and full of heart. Anyways, that's all I got, because that's all they gave us. Feel free to share your thoughts, or more importantly, let me know if you think I should actually watch Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.